Hello everyone! Today I'm making my jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. I decided that Anka would be the perfect face to 3D carve this year. Step one, of course, is drawing her face to plan the 3D carve. I'm using this reference photo I took on Harvey's Island to draw her face. Once the base outline of her face is done, I colored in the areas that are going to be cut out all the way through. The areas I'm leaving pulled forward are just outlined, and then the areas that I'm doing the cool 3D curve effect on, I am putting little stripesies across. This will help greatly in the carving process. Here's the completed plan! Let's get to the pumpkin! First, I remove the lid on the pumpkin with my murder weapon. Then I got this bad boy. I tape Anka's face to the pumpkin and get right to work cutting out the parts of her that go all the way through. This helps with facial proportions later on, actually. Then, I carefully peel the pumpkin skin around her face. I can't overextend or mess this part up or else it won't look like her. Once her face is visible, I peel the pumpkin skin around the outside of her hair, or else her hair will blend in. And, uh, I don't want that. Then I start thinning out her face from the inside. We want the light to shine through the 3D carve section. It'll be way cooler that way. A good trick I use when I'm having trouble telling how thin the face needs to be is by turning off all the lights in the house and then I put a light inside the pumpkin and then I proceed to continue thinning out the face while I can actually see what's going on. It is an excellent trick to make it thin enough. Anka Cat sitting on her throne. You'll worship her until you die. She'll steal your very soul. 